let us start discussing electrical conductivity in semiconductors a uh, part of the syllabus from module 5 as you all know in module 5 we discuss electrical properties in metals semiconductors and dielectrics when they are subjected to electric field so before we proceed with the syllabus uh, what is mentioned let us have a quick recap of what is a semiconductor now this energy band diagram explains clearly what is a semiconductor uh, in a conductor the valence band and conduction band appearing overlapped in insulator the band gap is large and in a semiconductor the band gap is not overlapping as in case of conductor or not too large as in insulator hence i can define semiconductor as a device whose conductivity is not as high as a conductor or not as too low as an insulator it is partially conductor the name itself suggests let us quickly uh, go through the types of semiconductors you all are already aware of this we can divide them into two categories intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors intrinsic semiconductors are the ones in which the semiconductors are obtained in its pure form naturally whatever these semiconductors are available all are intrinsic and in intrinsic semiconductor we know the special property the number of electrons is equal to number of holes and we dope we add impurities to those uh, these uh, intrinsic semiconductors so that we can enhance its conductivity and we call them as extrinsic semiconductor so depending on what kind of impurity is added a trivalent or a pentavalent impurity we get a p type and n type semiconductor respectively if a trivalent impurity like gallium indium or aluminium is added we get a p type semiconductor where holes are majority carriers and if a pentavalent impurity is added we get n type semiconductor where electrons are majority carriers this is a, a small energy band diagram explaining electrical conductivity in uh, intrinsic semiconductor as we all know in intrinsic semiconductor the number of electrons is equal to number of holes whatever the small current flows through uh, intrinsic semiconductor it is mostly due to thermal excitation that is a few electrons from valence band occupy conduction band and few holes from conduction band jump to valence band as a result there is a small current flowing through the semiconductor this concept is already known to you let us have a quick recap what is fermi level fermi level i can also define it as average of those energy levels taking part in conduction as in intrinsic semiconductor few electrons from the topmost of valence band and few electrons from the bottom of the conduction band take part in conduction what i mean is only few energy levels from the topmost of valence band and very less energy levels in the bottom of conduction band take part in conduction if i take the average of these two values the average value might be somewhere at the center hence we say in intrinsic semiconductor the fermi level lies exactly at the center this concept is already known to you in a n type semiconductor the fermi level lies very close to conduction band and in a p type semiconductor fermi level lies very close to valence band because the donor level is very close to conduction band as in case of n type because donor level refers to the addition the electrons whatever we have added because of impurities they already have high energy hence those extra electrons their energy level lies close to valence band similarly in a p type semiconductor holes have uh, holes are majority carriers because of adding impurities the acceptor level lies very close to valence band with a quick revision of whatever is done studied so far let us start with the syllabus the first concept is let us understand electron concentration what do we mean by that in a semiconductor uh, conductivity by electrons depends on how many electrons are there in the conduction band hence we define electron concentration as number of electrons number of electrons in the conduction band per unit volume of the material that is given by the expression we don't have 
the derivation for this uh, formula only the formula need, needs to be memorized number of electrons per unit volume in the con uh, conduction band is given by 4 root 2 upon h cube into pi me star kt whole to the power of 3 by 2 into e to the power of ef minus eg by kt where me star is effective mass of electron and ef is a fermi energy which is constant for a particular type of semiconductor and eg is the energy gap similarly on the other hand we can define hole concentration hole concentration depends on how many holes are present in valence band hence we can define it as number of holes in valence band per unit volume and this is the expression please note in the expression for nh we don't have eg because already the holes are in valence band below the energy gap it is given by nh is equal to 4 root 2 by h cube pi mh star kt to the power of 3 by 2 into e to the power of minus ef by kt let us discuss what is law of mass action law of mass action says that whatever the semiconductor we consider whether it is an intrinsic or an extrinsic semiconductor at whatever temperature or whatever is the level of doping if i multiply the number of charge carriers that is if i multiply the number of electrons and number of holes present the product remains a constant that is we know electron concentration is given by ne and hole concentration is given by nh so for any kind of any kind of semiconductor either intrinsic or extrinsic if i multiply ne and nh the product remains a constant let us check so here i have multiplied ne and nh so when i multiply i can multiply the numbers first 4 root 2 into 4 root 2 4 into 4 16 root 2 into root 2 is 2 so 32 upon h to the power of 6 i have club pi kt as a separate group pi kt to the power of 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 the powers get added up hence it is pi kt to the power of 3 and me star and me h i'm uh, um, i'm retaining it as it is and these powers get added up that is e to the power of ef minus eg by kt and e to the power of minus ef by uh, kt so when i add the powers ef gets cancelled off and as a result we get ne into nh is 332 upon h cube pi kt whole cube me star mh star to the power of 3 by 2 into e to the power of minus eg by kt please note in this expression ne into nh on the rhs everything is constant the numbers are constant pi kt of course effective mass of electron and holes are constant and energy gap eg is a constant for a particular type of a material hence i can say electron and hole concentration when i multiply the result is also a constant in the earlier expression you had to note down that in ne and nh we had ef ef is a variable parameter depending on temperature depending on the uh, doping concentration depending on the th thermal excitation the fermi level can shift but the product we see all the other parameters are remaining a constant since rhs is a constant i say ne into nh is a constant in the case of intrinsic semiconductor ne and nh we know number of electrons is equal to number of holes so i can write it as ni usually intrinsic concentration we write it as ni so ni into ni remains a constant or ni square remains a constant now let us discuss what is the relation between fermi energy and energy gap in case of intrinsic semiconductor already i have shown you uh, pictorially we know that in an intrinsic semiconductor fermi level lies exactly at the center of uh, energy gap that is exactly between valence band and conduction band so let us prove this mathematically we know ne and nh these are the electron and hole concentration in a material please note we are 
uh, deriving the relation between fermi energy ef and fermi energy uh, energy gap eg for an intrinsic semiconductor so let us make use of the information whatever we know for an intrinsic semiconductor for an intrinsic semiconductor we know electron and hole concentrations are equal hence i'll equate the equations ne and nh on my lhs the expression represents electron concentration and on my lhs the expression represents hole concentration so when i equate these two e uh, equations some uh, like parameters get cancelled on both the sides that is 4 root 2 by h cube gets cancelled on both the sides pi and kt gets cancelled on both the sides so let me club bring exponential powers on to one side and to the mass on the other side so what we are left on the lhs it is this exponential power e to the power of ef minus eg by kt and e to the power of minus ef by kt which is on lhs i'll bring it to denominator is equal to mh star upon me star which is on my rhs uh, sorry lhs i'll bring it to the denominator i'll write whole to the power of 3 by 2 e to the power of minus ef by kt i can shift to the numerator it becomes e to the power of ef minus eg by kt into e to the power of ef by kt i can add the powers that is e to the power of ef minus eg plus ef upon kt is equal to mh star by me star so ef gets can added up it becomes e to the power of 2 ef minus eg upon kt is equal to mh star by me star so i have written the expression once again now for all practical considerations we take effective mass of electron and hole to be equal to each other so when i take electron and uh, hole effective mass me mh by me will become 1 they get cancelled off so it becomes log 1 to the base e so log 1 to the base e is 0 as a result i get 2 ef minus eg is equal to 0 or ef is equal to eg by 2 okay students so i um, have i have explained so far what is we have started with a small introduction of what is semiconductor what is fermi level in a semiconductor we have discussed law of mass action electron and hole concentration and then law of mass action and mathematically proved that fermi level lies exactly at the center of energy gap in an intrinsic semiconductor 